time to review? <laughs> All right, that wasn't fair. Yes, it had a muffled voiceover, but this was the NES days. It's not like there are games nowadays that have such awful voiceovers. Harvest Moon, Tree of Tranquility. Oh, yeah. I understand Double Dribble's excuse, but what was Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility's excuse? I have no idea. Now, unlike the rest of the games I'm gonna review, this one's actually available for the virtual console to download. But should you do that? Let's take a look. I wanna get my biases out on the table before I start this review. And I will flat out say, if it hadn't come with my PlayChoice 10, I would have never bought this game. You see, I don't like basketball. Now, Double Dribble is a port of an arcade game of the same name. I'm starting to smell a pattern here. Why would Nintendo release this for the PlayChoice 10? I can understand the NES, but the main idea behind the PlayChoice 10 was to let kids try out games. If they already knew what the game was like in the arcade, why would they want to show them what the lamer version of it would look like on your NES? It just doesn't make much sense to me. Now, the little Wii viewer played this game with me. He thought the controls were simple to use and play. How could they not be? All you had to do was pass, shoot, and block. However, since the game doesn't really want to be anything other than a basketball game simulator, it's okay. If you've never played basketball before, here's the basic rundown. You go back and forth on a court trying to get your ball in the opponent's basket. If you make it in, you get two points. If you're far enough away from the basket, you'll get three points. If someone fouls you by getting too rough, you'll be able to take a penalty shot for one point apiece. One of the coolest parts of this game was when your character does a slam dunk. A slam dunk is when a player jumps up to the basket and slams it into the basket with force. The animation will show up right before you put the ball in the basket. Now just because the animation plays, that doesn't mean you're going to make it in. You have to watch the animation to see if you made it. There are three options to choose from. Time, team, and level. Time can be set anywhere from 5 minutes to 30 minutes a quarter. Level is the CPU difficulty level, and you can choose up to three different kinds of teams on the single player game. And in the versus mode, they give you one extra to choose from. Ooh. The teams are not the licensed teams, but fictional ones. Each of the fictional teams have different strengths and weaknesses on the court. But since they're not paying for the licensing, I don't know why they couldn't have had more teams to choose from. To only have three available in the single player game seems awfully lazy. There are no different ways of playing this game. It would have been great if there was some season or tournament mode. Heck, even a rousing game of horse would have been nice. Unfortunately, it's just not there, so the replayability of this title is very limited. I wish there was more to talk about this game, but there really isn't. It's a basketball game simulator. That's it. So the question has to be, is it worth a buy with such limited gameplay? Looking at it objectively, unless you have some nostalgic feeling about your childhood and the memories this game will bring back to you, there just isn't enough content to justify a buy, so I think you should skip it.